It's Whitney Nicely, and I had a flashback earlier today. Um, actually, while I was doing my continuing education for my broker's license, I had this flashback of, and I don't know what brought it on because I was studying environmental law, which is really boring, by the way. But I had this memory that came up, and it was me when I was trucking. I, if, in case you don't know, I am the fourth generation entrepreneur in my family, and that sounds absolutely amazing. We've been in business for 75 years, and I look pretty good for 75 years, don't I? <laughs> but this was probably 08 or 09, and like a lot of family businesses, like a lot of you, like a lot of people, 08, 09, 07, 08, 09, 10, 11, 12, you know, all of those years during the recession, during the Great Recession, during people panicking and losing their houses and everything they ever had, I was going through the same thing. And I vividly remember, and I can't hardly remember anything, like, I got the, uh, the memory of, like, an aunt or something, like, I don't remember anything. But I can very distinctly remember, and I was young, I was just out of college, and I remember one week, I used to make chicken fajitas like every other night. Like, I absolutely love chicken fajitas. Favorite meal. Definitely a go-to meal for me. And one week I was in there, I bought my chicken, and it was on sale, and the next week I had budgeted my chicken fajitas. And the next week I went in and the chicken wasn't on sale anymore. And I had an absolute panic attack at the front of the grocery store in line because I wasn't sure I had enough money on my credit card to buy the groceries. I absolutely had, you know, this sick feeling in my stomach that I didn't know if I could afford groceries or not. I didn't know if I was going to have to wait, you know, a couple of days or if it was going to be, you know, until I got my next paycheck. Like, it was a really low point in my life. And I remember, like, whispering to the cashier and being like, I'm not really sure if this is going to go through. And absolutely panicking. Because I didn't know what was going to happen. And I don't know if you've ever been there. I don't know if you've been in a situation where, you know, your house was being foreclosed on. I don't know if you've been in a situation where the repo man was coming and getting your equipment, like, or getting your car. Because I've been there where the repo man was knocking on our door and taking all of our trucking equipment away. I remember that very clearly. And I remember thinking that there has to be a better way. There has to be something that I can do to help. To help my family, to help myself, to help my community, to help so many other people. And I also remember during this time, I joined my local RIA group, the Real Estate Investor Association in Knoxville. And I remember they had a special presentation and it was going to be on lease options. And I had just got my real estate license and I thought I was the greatest thing that ever hit real estate. And I had no idea what a lease option was. And I wasn't really interested in finding out because I just graduated real estate school. Surely I know everything there is to know about real estate now, right? So I told Victor, the president of the Knoxville RIA, I said, I don't think I'm going to come to this thing. I don't, I don't think I'm going to need to know anything about lease options. And he was like, Whitney, it's $75. And if you come to this, it was a two-night event. He said, if you come to the first night and you don't learn $75 worth of education, I'll give you your $75 back and you can still come to the second night of it. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I go to this lease option meeting and I've paid my $75 and I'm thinking, you're giving me my money back, old man. <laughs> And I remember, like, telling him that I didn't really have the $75 to spend on it. I didn't know where I was going to find that 75 bucks. But I went, I paid my $75, and 15 minutes into this meeting, 
Bruce Barrett was standing up front and he had convinced me, he'd show me how he made like a hundred grand in two weeks doing lease options. And he casually mentioned in his speech that he was going to learn more about lease options in the next couple of weeks. So I, I, I paid attention for 15 minutes of this meeting that I paid $75, my last $75 to go to. And by the 15 minutes in, I was on my phone, not even paying attention to Bruce anymore, not even listening to what he was saying. And I was on my phone trying to figure out what other school he was going to, who had taught him about lease options, and how I could get into it. Before I left that meeting, I'd put $3,000 on my credit card. <laughs> Y'all remember, I didn't have $75 to attend this meeting, and I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to buy groceries earlier that week. But... I needed this information like I needed air. And I found $3,000 just like that to get myself into this program, to go to school, to learn how to do this. And I ended up spending about $30,000 over the next six months to learn lease options, to figure out lease options, to get started in lease options. I spent a week every month in 2014 trying to figure out lease options, doing lease options, and I did 14 deals in my first year. In 2014, I did 14 deals. In 2015, I did 19 deals, and it's only going up, all right? It took me a lot of money. It took me a lot of time. It took me a lot of effort. It took me a lot of tears, but you didn't see that <laughs> because I cried privately in my kitchen floor instead of on the internet, <laughs> But I made it. I figured it out. And you can do it too. In fact, you don't have to go spend a week in Florida anymore. I'll teach you how to do lease options from your house. Or you can come to my house. <laughs> you can come spend a day with me if you want to. I got an event in a couple of weeks. You can come spend the weekend with me. And we'll talk about lease options. We'll get you started. We'll get you a plan. We'll get you your one-liner. We'll get you the lead sheets you need, the scripts you need. We'll practice. We'll go look at houses. I am going to pour into you. Whether you opt in for my 12-week course, which is all online. Whether you decide to come spend a day with me by yourself and let me pour lease options into you like a fire hydrant or whether you decide to come to the event in March. I'm going to give you everything I know about lease options so that you can be successful. And I'm not talking about a get rich quick scheme. Don't come to me if you expect to be rich tomorrow. It's a process. It's either going to take me all 12 weeks to get you to where I want you to be. It's going to take me probably two, three, four, five days, but a lot of being successful in lease options is implementing it. And it's all great to learn these skills and to, you know, start this new adventure. But what I have found is, and this is in my story and in my student's story, having somebody that you can go back to and ask some questions and say, wait a minute, okay, I'm right here in the middle of this. How do I go forward? And that is crucial. All right. And you don't just have me to depend on. I've got a private Facebook group, too, that is full of my students, full of my mentors, full of attorneys and inspectors and website de designers and mindset coaches and apartment gurus. And everybody that I think you need on your team is in my private group. And they're all willing and ready to help you. But you got to get started. you got to take that step. you got to book call with me or, or you've got to figure out a way to put this into action. Massive action creates massive results. I'm going to tell you six different ways to find off-market properties. But if you watch those videos and you don't do what I tell you to do, you're never going to find off-market properties. I'll tell you what to do. We'll create a plan. We'll get a strategy. But then you have to implement it. And then when you get going along, you have those hurdles, you have those situations, you have those nights where you're crying in the kitchen floor, let me know. I'm going to get you past those. I got past them, and you're going to get past them. But it's not going to happen when you're watching those free videos on YouTube.
got to get started. You got to get in with me. Let's do this. Book a call with me or send me a message. Let's do this. I'm going to be here for you to get you to where you want to be. It's not going to happen overnight, but I'm going to be with you for the whole process. You can go to start.whitneynicely.com and book a call with me. There's a short video there that shows you how I made like 75 grand and two deals and you can too. I'm not that special. I'm a smart little cookie, but I'm not that smart. <laughs> All right? All you got to do is put the scripts in place, get the skills in order, and start building like a pyramid up to the top, up to the closing table. Go to start.whitneynicely.com. Bye, y'all.